Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Friday. Fabulous Friday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in three decks of cards for this reading today. We're going to bring in the beautiful romantic love oracle and affirmations. This will give you affirmations you can use to help and assist your journey, but also guidance about your journey too. And we're going to connect with the energy around you, your person and your journey using this deck and the unicorn magic deck and the powerful dreams deck. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What's the guidance and the affirmation for you today? One card. What's the guidance or the affirmation for your person today? Three cards, I think, coming out there. Three cards. And what's the affirmation or the guidance around your amazing journey today? We've got one card jumping out. Now, with the unicorn cards, unicorns connect with magic, connect with the innocence of the journey, seeing things in a higher way. What's the message coming through for you today? What's the message or the guidance coming through for you? We've got two cards. What's the message or the guidance coming through for them today? One card. And what's the message coming through for the journey? Flew out there. Wow pick them up and i feel i'm getting this message coming through saying pick yourself up and start again remember as rocky said and i know i say this a lot but it's true it's not how many times you get knocked down that matters it matters how many times you get back up so whatever's going on pick yourself back up so i'm going to bring in the moon cards what's the message coming through for you today one card what's the message coming through for them today one card and what's the message coming through for the connection? What's the message coming through for the connection? Look at that flying out. Wow. It's also a card that just moved on top of the deck. So let's see what's happening then. Let's look at your message first. So the affirmation that you can use and the guidance for you today. Oh my goodness me, look at this. You've done nothing wrong. You've done nothing wrong. I'm not surprised they give me the message intuitively to say to you, pick yourself up. Pick yourself back up because you've done nothing wrong. Forgive yourself. So you can affirm that today. I forgive myself. I know I've done nothing wrong. I forgive myself. And you may be taking something personally right now. You may be worrying about something right now. You may be worrying because something hasn't gone to your plan. But remember, it's always going to God's plan. You may be worried because your twin may have said something that's triggered you in some way. And maybe you're going over the past thinking, if only I'd done this or if only I'd done that, some things may be different. And everything had to happen that way. So forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. Maybe you're thinking, oh, I came on too strong or I didn't come on strong enough. Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. You were exactly how you were meant to be. So the guidance coming through from the unicorn is that you are beautiful and you are strong. So remember, if you're thinking, oh, I've done something wrong, you forget in that moment your power. So pick yourself up and begin again. Affirm, I am a beautiful individual and I will continue to glow as I embrace self-love. So this is a day to give back to you, to give all the love that you crave from your person to yourself today. Whatever you're wanting, give it to you, embrace you and allow yourself to glow. So don't let anything dim your light. If you're taking things personally, worrying, thinking you've done something wrong, stressing over things, you need to forgive yourself right now and affirm that you are a beautiful individual. And then you're going to continue to glow. Don't dim your light today because something you were stressing out about connected with yesterday or last week or last year or last month because the past is gone. It can't be changed. It can only be accepted. Allow yourself to glow up. And you're glowing right now. You are. So remember your power. You are beautiful and strong. And I feel your person absolutely loves the way you look as well. You have to remember that you are beautiful to them, inside and outside. They're also showing me the hair of this beautiful horse. You know, look how amazing the hair is on this horse. You know, that blonde hair there stands out. So you stand out. Maybe you've got blonde hair and they love that about you. That may be something extra as a message for you. But I feel this is more that you stand out, the way you wear your hair, the, the way you are. Everything about you is beautiful because you are an individual. You are different than the crowd. You don't need to fit in with others because you were born to stand out. 
So as you continue to remember your power, you will continue to glow. Shine your light bright like the star that you are. Don't take anything personally and forgive yourself. And if you're struggling to forgive yourself, you may just need to do the Hope Owner prayer. Go in the mirror, look in the mirror and say to yourself, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you, thank you. You know, if you're worrying about things and you're thinking, oh, I've done something wrong, maybe you're actually thinking, well, I shouldn't have said this or done that. Connect with your person in the 5D realm, call them in and say to them in a meditation or visualize them in front of you and say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And it will bring in a healing. And if you're struggling to forgive, Mary Magdalene will assist you with that. The unicorns are saying, I now, I know not to push my loved ones away in times of strife for they are my spirit people. Wow. So sometimes what we do is when we are really afraid of losing our twin flame, we self-sabotage. And this is what they do often. They do this very often. They'll push you away at the exact times that they need you the most. But you can also operate in that energy too. You can push them away when you need them the most. Or you can push away other people, your loved ones, like your family, your friends, angel family, you know, people you've got here on this channel. You may push away your angels, you may push away your connection with God. And you might think, oh, you're punishing me, God, or why is this happening to me? Or I don't believe in you anymore. Or, you can go into all these fears and push away exactly what you need. And he says, don't push these people away because they are your people. So this is your angels, your guides, your connection with God, even your own self. So instead of taking everything personally today, thinking you've done something wrong, you know, when we're in this energy, we're kind of in that poor me, victim mentality. You are not a victim of circumstances. You are a victor of your reality. That means you have the power to put yourself back into the power of your light, knowing that you are strong and you are capable and you're exactly where you're meant to be. So it says, I know not to push my loved ones away. So don't push people away because of what you've gone through. Spend time with people. Think, okay, it's Friday, the weekend's coming. Who can I spend time with now to lift me up? And that may be right here on the channel. If we're doing a Q&A and &A, we're connecting in the chat or maybe just commenting with someone in the comment section, talking to someone. Or it may be that you spend time with your friends. Maybe you think, right, well, I'm going to go and visit my family or I'm going to spend time with my children or I'm going to do this or that. Do that, even if it means connecting with your angels through meditation and having some time for you. Don't push away love because it's powerful. You've done nothing wrong. Don't ever feel like you've done something wrong by being loving and kind and gentle because that's the beauty within you. And calm is on the horizon. I see calm seas on the horizon as the moon enchants me. So this is a really powerful message for you. You know what this is showing you as you move towards this energy of the moon, you know, the moon cycle ahead. As we move forward, so let's have a look where the moon is here. So the moon is coming in. You've got the, the 17th of October, you've got the hunter's moon. Okay, so as we move forward towards the full moon, you're going to feel calmer about things, no matter what's going on. So if you've had an argument, for example, or something's happened and you've gone into separation or something's caused a problem, calm seas are on the horizon as the moon enchants you. So as you move towards, you can see this like walking towards the full moon. As we move further towards this full moon, I know we've just had the new moon, but as you move towards the full moon, you're going to feel calmer. You're going to be forgiving of yourself. You're going to feel better. And it all starts today by affirming, I forgive myself. I have done nothing wrong. Remember your beauty and your power. Shake that mane of hair that you have or don't have and feel strong. Remember who you are, you are beautiful. The clothes that you wear, the way that you are, the person that you are is strong and powerful. And there's karma sees ahead. The moon is enchanting you. So this is about you knowing you are an enchantress, you are strong, you are powerful, and you are everything to them. Never lose sight of that. You've done nothing wrong. In fact, you're doing everything right. So the energy around them today is... The power of love. I have faith in love. They have faith in this love. And they have faith in you. And they're asking you to have faith in this love. Because they are actually saying to you today from their higher self, you are stronger than you think you are. 
And you are valuable to me. I do value you. I do know your worth. So let go of the, oh, I've done something wrong because they do know what you are to them and you are valuable to them and they need to value themselves. So all of these problems that have come up have come up because they don't know their own sense of self-worth. That's what they are working on right now, to know that they are valuable, that they are worthy of your love and that allows them the power of faith to trust in the power of the love that you share. The angels are giving them the power to get back up because they are stronger than they think they are. I am strong. So you can affirm these two. I am strong. I have faith in love. I am valuable. I am worthy. I know my worth. So you're both picking yourself up for different reasons today. They're picking themselves up to know their own value and their own worth and to know that they are strong. And you're picking yourself up to forgive yourself for the past. So they are finding their freedom and they are finding their independence to do as they like because they want to choose their destiny. Their destiny is you. It's not about them needing to choose between you and a karmic partner or you and their job or you and their addiction or anything else. They need to choose themselves. And when they do that, they will always choose you because you're their destiny and you are one. They, when they choose themselves, they choose you because you are one. They automatically choose you because you're a package deal. I have freedom and independence to do as I like. So they're realizing they have a choice. They can choose freedom. They can choose independence. They can choose their destiny. They are realizing that right now. I can do as I like. Wow, that's liberating. Because they felt like they're stuck. They felt like they're in a prison. They've needed to escape. They felt stuck in circumstances and situations they couldn't see a way out of. But now they can because they have the freedom and the independence to do as they like. I feel a lot of them are even feeling more independent financially now. They're getting the houses in order. They're sorting things out. And this is because they're renewing their energy through meditation. I meditate in the moonlight and feel renewed by its loving energy. And they are also feeling your loving energy. So when they are sleeping, meditating, they are feeling your loving energy and that's bringing in a renewal. So if you've been sending them love in the 5D, they feel that love. If you've been dreaming about them, guess what? They've been dreaming about you and they are feeling renewed by the loving energy coming from you. And they are meditating in that love, the, the bathing in that loving energy, the feelings, and they are calming their mind more and more to understand what they need to do. Now, the energy around the journey, look at this. I allow love into my life. Let yourself be loved. And let that start by forgiving yourself. Let yourself be loved. Allow yourself to feel free. And this is really powerful because we've got the autumn breeze. Well, this is where we are today. In the energy of October moving forward, the autumn breeze caresses my skin, reminding me of Mother Nature's embrace. So it may be a windy day today, there may be a breeze, or you may go out and feel the breeze on you because it's reminding you of the embrace, the embrace of Mother Nature, that you are supported, that you are not alone, that you have angels and guides around you and that you are strong, but also feeling the embrace of the mother. And I feel that's Mother Mary coming in around you, comforting you, helping you to feel strong, but also they are feeling your embrace, the embrace of the, the mother, the, the empress, the nurturing qualities of you. So you're feeling each other around you. I feel that you're feeling each other's presence with the wind, with the breeze. So the breeze is bringing the power of the love. And also, I can solve any matter I face because I trust my innate wisdom. So when you listen to your own truth and you connect with your own intuition and you go within the for the answers, you find all the solutions to the problems. I can solve any matter I face. So you're finding things out. They are finding things out. You're putting things into place. They are putting things into place. You're solving your problems. They are solving their problems. So remember, let them find their own way because they can do that when they trust their own power. I am surrounded, and that's what they give me, I'm surrounded by love. I am surrounded by love. That's what you need to know today. As you move forward on your journey, you are surrounded by love. I feel this is also a huge sign of them coming towards you because they want to test the water. Testing the water, reaching out. Maybe they are following you from a fake profile or you maybe receive a, a call tonight from a private number or they're testing the water 
They don't want to come in directly, so they're coming in other ways. Or they may just send you a hi or an emoji and you're thinking, what's that all about? They're just testing the water to make sure they're not blocked or that you're not going to reject them. I am summoned towards the element of water. So they're being summoned to you. That's what I'm feeling. They are being guided to you. They are being called to you. The element of water, that's emotion and feelings. Challenging me to embrace my emotions. So they feel challenged because they know that when they come towards you, they've got to express their emotions and tell you how they feel. And that's what they want to do, but they're doing it slowly. And the fact there's that beautiful yellow flower there, that's what I'm seeing as, is hope. They're wondering if there's still hope because they know they've messed it up with you and they've caused pain and they are struggling with that. So they are thinking, okay, if I reach out to you with just a hi or an emoji, I'm not really putting my emotions out there if you reject me or the message doesn't go through or you don't want me anymore. So they are being called to you. I will endeavor to be strong yet vulnerable in order to heal my inner child. Wow. So there's definitely an inner child healing taking place here, yours and theirs. So your inner child will be craving their love or craving attention and affection. And you can give that to yourself and you have to be strong enough to do that. And they're really going to heal their inner child right now by reaching out to you. I will be strong yet vulnerable. And that means that they are strong in their power, yet they are vulnerable enough to express what they feel. They are strong enough to come forward and vulnerable enough to tell you how they feel. And this is about you being strong enough and vulnerable enough to allow them in. And also look at this movement. I'll sail away to the sky and hold the moon in my hand. So they are saying to you, I'll do what it takes to be with you. I will move forward towards you because I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to shine bright. I'm not afraid to show you who I am. And it says the moon is not afraid to shine bright and neither am I. And this is what you need to remember because you are beautiful. You've done nothing wrong. I'm a beautiful individual and I will continue to glow as I embrace self-love. So the moon is not afraid, so don't be either. I'm going to shine bright, I'm no longer afraid and I whisper my secrets to the moon and know that she has heard me. So this is about telepathic communication and I feel what your person is saying is I've whispered secrets to you, I've communicated with you through songs, I've shown you through dreams, I've messaged you in my mind and I know that you've heard me. You've heard me because I've been opening up to you and showing you my vulnerability through my psychic self. They are whispering secrets to you. And you're receiving secrets from the universe through the things that you feel and see. So allow your worries, your woes, your problems, your fears to wash away with the tide. Give them to heaven. Hand those over to heaven today in exchange for peace. Because all is well and you are safe. And what I'm really connecting with is the message to pick yourself up and try again. Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. They are gaining the strength right now to have the power and the courage to test the water and reach out to you. Because they're afraid that you're going to reject them or you don't want to know them anymore because of what they've done. So later today, I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine Dark Truths and the Dark Struggles deck to connect with what they're experiencing and see what they're learning too. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.